and the war goes on. Even the British consulate in this Spanish city feels the effect of shell fire. City after city get the horrid effect of this civil strife. Building after building is torn and destroyed. Streets where once peaceful Spaniards roamed now harbor collapsed structures. Flames soar high overhead, bombing, ever bombing. Planes never let up their rain of heavenly fire, always hurling missives, pouring a leaden rain, destroying, killing. Hospitals are filled to the brim with the wounded and the dying. The slain are merely left on city streets or in the fields. Women, children, the weak, the lame, if they cannot fight, they flee. Here an old man toddles along seeking a quiet spot. Even the Uruguayan consulate takes its share of the bombing. Senora Athania, wife of the president, faces a camera for the first time and in the role of a war nurse. So far away, loyalist snipers are in action. The wounded are perpetually carried back for treatment. Here, loyalists are preparing to attack and capture a small number of rebels who hold a hill. In San Sebastian, cars are stopped and searched. There is supposed to be a shortage of water and the precious liquid is carefully doled. Tolosa, deserted after an attack. Once a beautiful city swarming with peace-loving Spaniards, now a picture of desolation and ruin. In France, a mystery plane drops out of the skies and immediately there is word that it was on its way to Spain. Whether it was or whether it was not is still a mystery. On another front, loyalists are moving into position in preparation for an important attack.
artillery goes into action to support its infantry. Alcazar, where more than 1,000 cadets revolted and locked themselves in, fighting to death. Sebastian, taken by the rebels practically without fire. In a moment, you will see one of the most amazing sights ever presented on a screen. Machine guns spit lead, and not until the last man is still do they halt. Here is a lovely picture to show those who advocate war. In another sector, the rebels mass and leave for the front. Perfectly trained troops prepared to do any kind of combat. prepare to go. Here is the manner in which they leave, the clench fist being their salute. While rebel officers talk over the situation and plan ahead, the men who do the actual work take a few brief moments for rest. French athletes who visited the Workers' Olympiad in Barcelona arrived safely home, and maybe they are not happy to be there. Members of the clergy leave their parishes for peace. Loyal submarines whose sailors revolted, subdued their officers and took over the ships, prepared to move against rebel-held Moroccan territory. While in Gibraltar, English protection is offered to fugitives. Children, men, women, all seem a bit happier in spite of the fact that they no longer have a permanent home. On the 
the southern front, hospitals are destroyed, bridges are ruined. Here is a scene at the battlefield. The youth of Spain from the north, east, south, and west go forth to spill the life's blood of their brother Spaniards. After a fierce exchange of shots, soldiers come back for more ammunition.